The state Supreme Court ruled last week that 180 candidates statewide failed to properly file statements of economic interest before the March 30th deadline. Tuesday, the Senate Judiciary Committee passed a measure that would recertify those candidates who filed the form online before April 20th. That would take care of most of the disqualified candidates. But one member of the committee, Senator Jake Knotts, objected to the bill. And that led to a heated confrontation between Knotts and Roxanne Wilson, wife of Congressman Joe Wilson. You know it's wrong. You're self-serving. Get your hand off me. Roxanne Wilson's sister is one of the candidates knocked off the primary ballot. Mrs. Wilson later met with Knotts in his office and emerged to say the two of them had made their peace. But the Senate bill now appears to be in trouble, so those looking for a legislative solution to the ballot problem are looking to amend a House elections bill that has already passed. But that bill would still have to pass in both houses and be signed by the governor and then get the approval of the U.S. Justice Department. And there's only five weeks to go before the primary.